Rob Flax here. I play things with strings, I hit stuff, and I sing. And today is a fun day of unboxing. I've got some packages that I'm ready to explore. But first, I've got this familiar little orange feller sitting right next to me. This is the Boss DS1, the ubiquitous distortion pedal. I think everybody and their grandma has one. I believe this was a Christmas present from my brother one year. Thanks, Nick. I want to shoot it out against the weirdest DS1 in the universe, uh, which is sitting right over there. First things first, I'm going to play you some sounds on the DS1, and then we're going to see what the folks over at Analog Music Company have done to the DS1. My signal chain, violin, shirtler stat V pickup is going directly into the DS1, and then that's going into the rest of my pedal board. This is my regular signal chain for most things. If you're not familiar with it and want to check out more, check out the videos for my studio tour. All right, first the clean sound, and then we'll turn on the DS1. This is, I think, how Mark Spear sets his stock DS1, the guitarist for the band Krongbin. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. He uses his with the distortion all the way off. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> I think that's a surprisingly usable sound, and I'm pretty sure you can get these pedals for like 30 bucks. So if you need a distortion sound, or you're not sure where to start, this is a really good place to start, and that's an extreme setting. Let me put the knobs to the Mick Taylor approved everything at 2 o'clock position, and let's play a test riff. I'm going to play something in A. <laughs> Now it's time to get unboxing. Kostyantin Kosyovsky. Konstantin sent me this package from Kyiv in the Ukraine, which I'm glad I ordered when I did. <laughs> I ordered this in January. It got here before all of the chaos that started to unfold there started. So sending out love to everybody in the Ukraine. Uh, battling for freedom. We've all seen it. We're not living under a rock. I bet you've already donated. So do what you can to help those in need. In the meantime, let's check out this ridiculous pedal. Oh yeah. That, uh, that saw some love in customs, I think. Oh, I really got to learn how to use autofocus. Civis pacim para bellum. <laughs> There's a sticker. There's a chocolate? There's a chocolate? Ooh. There's a chocolate! Okay, officially the best pedal swag ever. There's a pick, there's a sticker, and there's chocolate. Analog Music Company wins, everybody else go home. <laughs> Oh, baby. Look at this thing. This used to be a DS1. It is no longer a DS1. It has been modded to hell and back. This is the evil pumpkin. It's Fuzz Fiddle with Flax. 
It is a synth fuzz and distortion. I don't even know. I mean, look at this. There's there's switches down on the bottom. There's switches on the side. There's this extra knob. There's this extra knob. There's this button here. I'm not sure what's going on. There isn't a really detailed manual on the website, which I think is kind of the point. This is an insane freakout machine. Let's plug it in and find out. Now at this point, if I try and press this, it doesn't work. There we go. I think that sounds better than the stock uh, DS1 setting. I think that is just in stock mode, but let's see. Okay, now let's start pushing buttons and tweaking knobs and stuff. Oh, this is a kill switch. That's useful. Switch number one. I'm gonna just go from bottom right and then just work my way around the back. Now we've got a gate. <laughs> Pretty aggressive gate. incredible that's the first switch there's like 11 more switches oh and it's a three-way switch Switch number one, excellent switch. Toggle number two, no sound anymore. Okay, so toggle one up, toggle two down, and we have a strange noise, which I can still kill switch. <laughs> what just happened? If it's set to gated, nothing happens. If it's in the middle, nothing happens. 
If it's the fuzz, it pushes this toggle into weird sh dying balloon mode. Ah, the sweet, soothing sounds of a lullaby. Lullaby. And good night. Go to sleep. Little. <laughs> Number three. This is now up. Right? Here's down. Not making a huge difference. Maybe I have to combine it. Nope. Not sure what that one does yet. How about this one. That's a nice toggle. Okay, so toggle number four. I'm going one, two, three, four. Toggle number four. That's nice. I feel like I ought to push everything up to the four o'clock position. No, let's let's use this. Let's use this evil pumpkin subtly. So the first four, not clear what's going on there, but some sort of gain staging circuit bending. Time for the bottom three along the underside here. All right, now I've got everything set to off. That one was on by default. If I switch it to the other side. Now we're getting somewhere. This is where a self-oscillating pedal starts to happen. If you haven't watched my episode on the Bliss Factory, this reminds me of that. We are chaos, fuzz, bias, sputtery nonsense. We, we, we like this. This is good. That's absurd. Okay, uh, middle toggle to the right, off, to the left, no obvious change, but let me go back and put the right one to the right, middle one as well now. Not noticing a huge change immediately, but we'll see. Okay, how about that, uh, how about that leftmost toggle?
it. That's my favorite sound so far. It's filthy. Now this is the left one is to the left and the right one is to the right. So this this one here, toggle number one, I've been calling it, is the one that makes the most chaos happen. Okay. Can you see this? Is this showing up on here? This is what these toggles are set to now. Flip that middle one to the right. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, now the middle switch is to the left, so the outer ones are outside and the middle one is to the left. Too much gain. Let's give it minimal gain. I assume there is some circuit bending some short circuiting going on here. Not very handy for talking. And furthermore, fascinating. So the controls of the uh, tone and gain are very interactive with these switches. I have no idea what the heck is going on in here, but it's awesome. So at this point I'm going back to how I found it at the beginning of this, which is everything is set to the off position minus the bottom right toggle. If I'm counting, if I'm going around starting counting here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outer toggles. That's number seven is to the right. Um, but there's two more on top, and right now they're set to the outside position. So let's flip those in the middle. Okay, let's go with this top right one now. an LFO. Now the side knob does something. Maybe this is LFO bias and this is the... Yeah, that's probably the right, the right hand, I mean the, the red colored one on the left side, which is visible, just barely. That's the rate. So that appears to flip the waveform, maybe? I have no idea what this knob is doing, so let's add some fuzz just in case.
At this point, it's an instrument of its own. No violin needed. Okay, so here's that same riff from before, but now we're gonna do it with <laughs> we're gonna do it with this pedal. Okay, that's insanely wonderfully inspiring. A lot of cool sounds in there. Did I mention that they included chocolate? I'm gonna have to look up what Latin for civis pacem parabellum means. Probably somewhere where I can Google it. Let's Google it. If you want peace, prepare for war. That is uh, eerily uh, <laughs> kind of premonition of what's happening in Ukraine right now. I have no idea what this pedal is or does. Certainly at the tamer settings, it's already my new favorite fuzz. This thing sounds incredible with just one or two toggles on. It really changes the character. The gated fuzz sound in here is amazing. Um, that with the LFO on is a very, very usable sound. It's similar to the Chase Bliss Bliss Factory, but a completely different circuit topology. So it behaves differently, it feels different, it sounds different. It's got this really raunchy, gritty character that I like a lot. That's gonna end up on a lot of recordings. What do you think? Did uh, did they make something amazing happen out of the original DS1? Or do you like the sounds of the DS1 as is? Or do you hate both? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you as always to my supporters on patreon.com. You help make this possible. And uh, that's... I'm gonna go eat this chocolate now. See you in the next one. Bye.